Yeah, what's going on YouTube? Here's the extra carburetor I was talking about. This is the throttle line. This part goes down inside the carburetor. This is a watertight seal for this to keep the water out of the throttle cable. This could this part connects to your throttle handle. Okay. I don't have the throttle handle. I'm gonna have to order an extra one, I guess. Here's the extra carburetor. Now let me get this out of the bag. <clears throat> I forget what company I ordered this from, but it was shipped from China. And um it's the same make and model. It's an NT carburetor. Okay. The only thing that's different is this. See on my other one, this is like gold or brass. But this one here. It still has the same spring action. This is your fucking um, adjustment screw for your idle. This is just the priming button. And this is your choke. And then your breathe. And then go back to your choke. Now what you want to do. Okay. This line goes through here. Okay. Look, there's your throttle set up. You got to take this the fuck out, okay? And you got to screw this off. I'm going to show you something, because most people don't know this, and they're, they're retarded, and that's why they end up buying a mini, uh, mini Cooney carb, or a Miku carb, or whatever the fuck that shit's called. Hold on. You got to screw this shit. I bought this one, because I thought my other one fucking blew up. Okay, there's your shit, okay, and this usually goes through here, on, fucking throttle line, goes in like this, hmm, that's rare, the fucking throttle line gets stuck, ah, there it is, okay, they take it off like that, and then usually this, fucking spring sits on here like this. Yeah. I have this all the way screwed in, by the way, on my other one, too. Anyway, take your little spring off. Yeah. Then you get down to where those goodies are, and you dump them out. Now, whatever you do, get your needle adjustment pen. We're going to put that right there. And your half moon key, don't lose this. Because I don't know who the fuck you're supposed to buy that off of. This fell off the carburetor. I'm just going to put that back on. That's my priming bulb. Okay. Now. See that thing in the middle? That's your fucking uh, carburetor thing. It goes vroom vroom. Okay. Take your pinky. If you can get it. If not. Fucking. You got to turn it upside down. And shake this bitch. <clears throat> Looks like it don't want to come out. So give me a minute. Alright, sorry about that. Here's your fucking carb piece, okay? Your little cord goes through here, okay? And then you set up your carb. I guess. I'm just gonna give you the rundown. Goes on like this, okay? And then it goes down in with the spring and all the other little parts. But, what you need... is not the half moon key. You need this. And see where this pin's at? I don't know if the camera's going to fucking focus or not. See the way that's set up? That's not in the middle. Count with me. There's a top ring here. That's one. This is the second notch ring. Then the third notch, fourth notch, and fifth notch. What you want is this little key here. Okay, this pin. You want to count from the middle pin adjustment. Okay. And go up one. Up this way. One. Until it looks like this. Okay. And if you don't set it and you have it in the middle, that's lean. Running your engine at lean, 
and then trying to put all the oil possible in your fucking bike will cause the motor to fuck up and foul up the for, uh, the fucking spark plug and fucking um, fuck up your motor in the long run and then you're always buying pistons and new engine cranks and shit. On my other carburetor, my other Speedo carb, it's just like this one, but this part here is brass and shit, okay? I have it set where this needle adjustment pin is on the fucking second notch not the third notch not the fourth notch not the fifth notch not the sixth notch you count from up here down one and then down on two that's where this one's at that's the rich setting okay now when you turn it on rich okay I don't run my bike as rich I set the fuel as lean and what happens is it tricks the engine thinking that I'm running rich fuel, but I'm actually running it lean, which means more fuel, less oil. I give it just enough for lubrication to get that fucking black motor running just right. That's why I got over 2,000 2, some fucking miles on it. And the engine never did blow up yet. And I also have a three-prong spark plugs. Then what you do is you put this bitch back together. And here's how you do it. Put your little needle adjustment in there like that. Okay. Then you take your half moon key. Put that bitch in there like that. And then you want to try to get it straight as possible. Hold on. Got to pause the video. Then what you want to do is grab your spring. And put your spring on like this. Okay, then you take this fucking shit, okay, and then you kind of have to, hold on, I'll show you how to do this, then you want to have it set like that, okay, then you put your spring in there like this, okay, and you want to have it looking like this, you don't want to be fucking with this, Adjusting this or loosening this this has to be tight. This has to be tight. Okay So that the fucking spring looks like this Okay, then you take your shit. Okay Take your carburetor your NT speedo carb. This is why you idiots can't get your bikes to run properly And there's a little notch down inside the carburetor it sticks out like that. Okay You don't want this side this side. Okay this side's for your fucking, um, your adjustment, uh, idle. That's what that's for. So you want to have this going this way. See, that's what this cut indentation is here. It's for putting it in like this. Line that bitch up. There you go. And then, you screw this bitch down. Take some time, because... I'm sitting here trying to fucking do this with the camera. Let me pause the video. And there you go. That's what the fuck your carburetor should look like. Right there. And then you just unspin this fucking wire here. And then you screw this into your throttle housing. And then you pull this through the throttle housing. And then your little throttle notch. You put this into the throttle notch. And then it works it this way. But anyway, you want to see the bitch working? See down inside there? Now watch. I'm going to pull on the cord. Hold on. It might stick a little bit because you got to get oil or something to move the fucking bitch. There's your throttle action right there. Run, 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 run. That fucker's tight because this spring, it's one of them heavy duty springs for the fucking throttle. On my other one, I have a loose fitting spring, so it's easy to work the fucking throttle. But anyway, you can see it says speed. It's the same make and model carb. Same attachment fucking shit here. The same choke lever, the same shit for your gas hookup throttle. And then it says. MT carb on the back. That's how you set up your shit. 
Now, if you're running the little needle that's inside here and you're running it on that middle notch, that's lean. And lean means more gas, less oil. But what I do is I run it on rich notch up one. Okay. And I trick the motor into thinking I'm running lean, but I'm actually running rich. So I trick the motor. And my fucker runs. Goes about 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour. I'll do a video here eventually showing that. Anyway, thanks for watching.